First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. So through the Spirit, it's easy to tell that brothers are in heavy spirits, man. Brothers are going through it. All Israel is going through it. But as the scriptures say, it is Israel's portion to suffer the straight, but only one will see the wide. You know, this truth is a straight gate. And more than ever, we need exhortation. So as I was going through the scriptures, I happened across Zephaniah, the third chapter. I'm going to start here at the 12th verse. Lord willing, this will be um, edifying and it'll be exhorting, okay, unto the hopeful elect. Okay, it says, I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. And if anyone is afflicted and poor, it is the Israelites. And moreover, the elect because the elect holds precious knowledge, saving knowledge, okay, in a wicked world. So that makes you walk and sojourn, okay, with the heavier load, if you will. Our portion is not in this life. You know, we are afflicted and we are poor. You know, we don't have all the things money can buy, but we are rich in grace. Okay, we are rich in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay, and we trust in the name of the Lord. We have the name of the Lord, Yahweh. Why you have a shy? Okay. It says the remnant of Israel shall do, shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. And the remnant, okay, of Israel, the believers, okay, in these last days are not going to do iniquity. They're not going to be in a spirit of, of sinning. They're not going to use their grace period, okay, to be destructive, okay, and be rebellious. They will not speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. There's not going to be no deceit, no guile. In them, there is no guile. They are faultless before the throne of the Most High. For they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. In the kingdom, we're going to be sheep, figuratively speaking. We will go in and out and be taught. Of the Most High by Yahweh Shai. The Lord will speak to us plainly. He will teach us. He will feed us. Okay. Not only that, but we're going to have the best of everything. Okay. The best foods, the best water, the best air, the best uh, dwelling, you know, clothes, everything. So we have a lot to look forward to. All right. Even though we are. You know, in a jacked up state, 
and and it sometimes it seems it's like you know affliction could could go on for a long time it says sing o daughter of zion shout O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. We have to mem remember scriptures like this. To sing, to shout, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments and has cast out thine enemy. And that's what's that's what's getting to ha that's what's going to happen. All right, these curses are going to be lifted up off Israel, okay? And we are cursed. We are heavily, heavily cursed, you know? We are in captivity, but the chains are being lifted, okay? We, we are afflicted. We are poor. We are the tail and not the head you know the scriptures say the whole head is sick you know our people are blind in mad but the Lord is going to take away the judgments all those curses that are written in Deuteronomy 28, the Lord is about to take away all those judgments. He hath cast out thine enemy, right? Esau, Edom is about to be casted out. The king of Israel, even Yahweh, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. And this is what we hope for. We're, we're waiting for those days. Okay? We're waiting for those days in which... We no longer have to serve these Edomites. Or we no longer have to live under these curses. You know, and you know, there's no way we could be in the second covenant. Okay, because we still have to be, uh, we still have to get that stony heart taken away. You know, and out of the heart proceedeth many abominable things so we are still in this flesh and that's a judgment in itself to be in these chains of darkness it says thou shalt not see evil anymore and we're waiting for that day it's like you wake up you know and to the best of your ability you're trying to possess the right thinking in Esau's kingdom being vexed with the filthy conversation of your own people all the while we're cursed everywhere you look around you is like a trap we are in the valley of the shadow of death we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai but we have to remember these words. O oh, daughter of Jerusalem, all right, you believers, okay, the, 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 the woman of the Lord, that delicate, that comely woman that the Lord has likened Israel unto. We have to prepare ourselves. In that day, 16 verse, it shall be said to Jerusalem, fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. Think of this word slack. Strong's H7503. Rafa. Rafa. To sink, relax, sink down, let drop, be dis disheartened. Alright? Yeah, you don't you don't wanna you don't want to uh you know let up. Okay, you don't wanna be disheartened. Okay, we, we wanna be full speed ahead. All right, and through the spirit, you know, the, the, that, that happens, you know. And, and like I said, 
And man, when, you know, when it rains, it pours. You know, there's a saying in the world that says when it rains, it pours, you know. But we have we, we, we cannot let our hands be slack. We cannot relax and be disheartened. You know, when you wake up and you just sit there and you just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Those days, they be happening. All right. It says, the Lord, thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. You see? Yahweh thy power, Yahweh Bashim is, is in the midst of thee, is mighty. He will save. And in the spirit, no matter what we go through, you know, it, it seems that the Lord is there. Okay? And the spiritual discernment that, you know, gets bestowed upon you as you continue in the faith, you, you see that. You see that, you know, the Lord doesn't utterly... Uh, let you fall. It says, He will save, He will rejoice over thee with joy, He will rest in His love, He will joy over thee with sinking. Whether Yahweh Bashim Yahshai will sing in that day, well, we're just going to have to see. Scriptures say we know in part and we prophesy in part, but He is in the midst of Israel. <clears throat> Starting with the apostles, the elders, like to the Spirit, if you can receive it, man, the Lord. We, we could very much be those sons and those daughters of the Most High. And, and if the Spirit allows, I'm going to go into that. I'm going to do a lesson on that. <clears throat> because, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies. Um, you know, it's commonly said amongst brothers, if not, if not us, then who? And we say that humbly speaking because these words, okay, are words of enlightenment, you know. The scriptures tell you that in the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. That the word, it basically, it illuminates the mind and gives you discernment, okay, along with wisdom, okay, along with, uh, you know, the eye salve, knowledge, understanding of things in, in, the, in, this, in, this, uh, in this life, if you will. You see, it says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee. <clears throat> the Lord's going to gather all those that are sorrowful, man. And this is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, Strong's H forty one fifty. Moed. Moed. Appointed place, appointed time meeting, appointed time general, right? Sacred season, set feast, appointed season, appointed meeting, appointed place, appointed sign or signal, tent of meeting. What does it say here? Strong's definition, properly an appointment, fixed time or season, specifically a festival, conventionally a year, by implication an assembly. Technically the congregation right here at the bottom. By extension, the place of meeting. Brothers, the Lord is going to gather all those, okay, who when they gather are sorrowful. When they meet up with the other believers are sorrowful. And sometimes you can tell everyone in their appointed time has that sorrowful spirit at times. It says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Like when we get together to do videos or even at the Passover or different, you know, you're just happy to be there. 
especially on those feast days, you're happy to make it one more year, one more uh, week, one more Saturday, so on and so forth. Who It says, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. It says, and then I will gather you who mourn for the appointed festivals. You will be disgraced no more. Man, there's much joy, much reward, much uh, for lack of words, you know, a recompense, man, for those who continue in the work. You know, no matter how hard it is to get up and continue one more day, one more time. <clears throat> hey, the Lord's going to be there. He's 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 with us, man. Y'all brothers know. Y'all brothers know how it is. You know, brothers always say, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be here. Just one more weekend, one more day. It says, 19, behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. And I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. Who was driven out? Who who was, who was is that speaking about? That's speaking about Israel. The Lord's going to undo all those that afflict us, man. Starting with Esau, Edom, and these other nations. Because these devils, they need to get their system broken up. We're tired of this bullshit-ass society. These unrighteous decrees. This, this lording, you know, that they have us. This lordship that we're under. You know, this, this they're trying to subjugate us. Our, our mind, body, and spirit. They want us to worship them like the most high. It says, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. And that, that's that's coming. That's coming, man. Throughout all the, the captivities where Israel may find themselves, they're going to get praise and fame. They're going to be um, exalted, UK. It says, at that time, I will bring you again, even the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. You see, the Lord's going to make his elect a name and a praise among all people of the earth. So there's going to be a distinction, a separation. Okay, those who uh, exercise abstinence, those who exercise discipline, who, who, who was in the truth uh, sincerely. Okay, there's not going to be no guile, no deception. You know, everything that is given to them is going to be, you know, because it, it, it's a reward. And, 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 you know, you're going to get a name, so to speak. You know, the elect are going to be known. Okay. The, the elect are the best of their class. And they're going to be praised among all the people of the earth. It says, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, say to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Right? It's going to be like a rewind. Back in, you know, on them VHS tapes. And them times, things are going to be, it's going to be rewound. Everything's going to be undone and put back in its proper order. So there's a lot for Israel of the Most High to look forward to. Although, you know, we're in a, an afflicted state. We still trust in a power that we do not see. And that that is, you know, the Lord said, when I come on the earth, shall I find faith on the earth? Is he going to still find believers? And the answer is, yeah, because like it says here in the 13th verse, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity. And, and see, that's what is separating the righteous from the unrighteous in these last days, because the remnant, those that are you know, scattered among the world. That election is not going to do iniquity. They're, you know, they're not going to be doing 
what the world is doing. They're going to be separated. They're going to be putting off, all right, carnality. They're pu putting off the world and, and disciplining themselves, repenting. And every day is, a, is repentance. Every day, you know, you want out. You, see, you know, the prisoners seek it to be uh, released, you know, from this, from, this, from this body, first and foremost, from this hell, and to be uh, uh, set free, okay, to roam about the earth in righteousness, you know, and to not be fearful of pra praising Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. You can't even praise the Lord. You can't even worship the Most High openly in this world. You know, these judgments are, are going to be undone. This system is going to collapse, you know. And Yahweh Bashim Yashai will be exalted in that day. Okay, he's going to make a name for his elect. Okay. That's what the scriptures say. It's like the ultimate underdog story, man. The ultimate payback, you know. So we just got to hold on, keep, keep hope alive, you know, keep praying, staying in the spirit, fasting if we have to. So I just wanted to bring this out, Lord willing, it was edifying, all right, some exhortation, you know, sometimes we need that exhortation, you know. Because it's hell. It's hell here in Babylon. Nothing but confusion. Our people love it. They love to have it like that. You know. So Lord willing, we're the, we're the, the, the remnant that was chosen to, to wake up in these last days. You know, and escape the judgment. And that's why we're repeatedly going over these scriptures and teaching one another. Because, you know, we, we could be the sons of the Most High. You know, the, the ones he chose in these last days. And, 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 and I'm going to say this, you know, they're perfect in the eyes of the Lord. In the flesh, they might not be perfect, but to the Lord, they are. You know, how beautiful is that? But I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to stop uh, ranting. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.